In this video, you will learn about the properties of waves. For demonstration, I will also use the simulator from phet.colorado.edu wave on a string. To follow along, please use the following settings. Set to no end, slow motion, no damping, and you can also turn on rulers, timer, and reference line. Then set the simulation to oscillate, and you may stop or start the oscillation at any time, or step forward incrementally. A wave is a disturbance in a medium that can transfer energy without net displacement of the particles of the medium. For light, it is a wave that requires no particles, rather it carries energy by the disturbance in the electric and magnetic fields. One type of wave are shear waves. For shear waves, the disturbance is perpendicular to the movement of the wave. In our PHET simulator, you will see the particles oscillate up and down while the wave is actually propagating forward, perpendicular to the particles. The tops and bottoms of the waves are often referred to as crests and troughs, or hills and valleys. There are many examples of transverse waves, including ocean waves, just shaking a string, waving a flag, light, and even sports game waves. The physical dimensions of a wave can be described through its wavelength and amplitude. The wavelength can be pictured as the distance between two consecutive crests. The amplitude is the distance from the rest position of the medium to the crest. In our simulator example, we can use the rulers to measure these properties. In this example, the wavelength is approximately 4.1 centimeters, whereas the amplitude is measured from the resting position and is uh, approximately 0 0.75 centimeters. We can also measure the time dimension of a wave. For this, you can use the timer. For example, let's use the timer to see how long it takes for one complete oscillation of the end of our string. According to our measurement, the period of the wave is approximately two-thirds of a second. 
Other ways to describe a wave is its speed. This should be fairly self-explanatory. How fast the crest of a wave propagates. It is distance over time, so it can be measured as the wavelength divided by the period. Another way to describe the propagation of a wave is its frequency, which is the inverse of the period. It is defined as the number of crests passing a point in a given period of time. The units of frequency are hertz. To measure frequency, we will start the motion again and start our timer. And this time, we will measure out 10 seconds and count the number of oscillations of the end of the string in that time. Keep in mind that we had slowed the motion. As you saw in the 10 second timer, we counted 15 oscillations for an exact period of two thirds of a second. Because speed is wavelength divided by period, it can also be equated to wavelength times frequency. The speed of a wave depends on the medium it is moving through. For light, its speed through vacuum is always equal to 300 million meters per second. Because this is a constant, therefore, there is an inverse relationship between wavelength and frequency. Higher frequency means shorter wavelength. Low frequency, in turn, means long wavelength. This concludes this video.